everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. I hope everyone had a safe 4th of July weekend. So we have another AL572 in for repair. Someone messed with the output coil, so I will address that. The front rotary switch is damaged. Luckily I have a replacement here. I'll be getting those. So I already have the one for the SB220 slash 221, HL2200, SB200, so I'm going to be getting more parts and I'll have them on the Harbox site. So, also needs new straps. This one is badly frayed. I'll remove this old revision. It's no longer needed. And if it doesn't have the gas discharge tubes, I will add them, or even if it does, I will replace them. never know what condition they're in just because they're not shorted doesn't mean that they're not arcing prematurely or on the verge of failing so while it's here I take care of that I will replace the SO 239s with brand new ones from max gain systems this is this is getting a brand new set of pent, uh, pentalab 572 B tubes awesome company great people over there so I will go through the rest of it and uh, get her done. Looks like someone did something with the meter lamps. Um, actually, I did turn it on and one was, I forgot. I did turn it on and one was a lot dimmer than the other, so I think I have, I still have more of the replacement LED pack assembly, so I will swap those out. Okay, so. I'm going to get to work, and I will go over everything when it's all done. So stay tuned. See you guys in a bit. Please like, share, and subscribe. And switch is out. Let me show you here the contact. Boom. See? Blown apart. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Place the two gas discharge tubes. There's one of them. The other ones are in there somewhere. Here it is. Both of them. Socket clips were spread big time. So I compressed them. Actually, I'm going to compress this one a hair more. So someone must have been putting the tubes in at an angle. Even the filament ones were spread. You know, if someone forces the two large pins into this the two smaller holes sometimes those ones can be goofed up and spread a lot but I always want to make sure you when you put the tubes in you go straight in I also put in a longer screw okay, so the cover back we'll compress this again and um, I mean go ahead and compress this and a little more and then put the cover back on see so back with the completed Ameritron AL572 I'm going to show it working on 3.9 megs, that's what the customer requested. When I'm all done testing, I will remove the cover and show you the inside. Okay. okay so we got the 1KW slug. Bird meter is on PEP going into a bird attenuator load. Audio hello, 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 1KW, KW, 1KW, 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 tit, 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 roughly 50 watts. Audio tit, 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 tit. Audio tit 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 tit. Hello, 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 hello. Let me flat this flat. Tit 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 tit. Audio hello, 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 hello. Okay. I'm gonna finish testing the other bands and then I'll pull the top off and show you the inside. See you soon. Stay tuned. Back with the inside of the completed AL572. So it's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. They had some of these left, so they sent them to me. These are the special ones. I did a video on a while back. It's a great company. Great people over there at Penta. They keep me stocked up because I go through so many amplifiers. Keeps them rolling. Remember, customers get the dealer price. I make nothing. And I test customer's amp with the customer's 572B tubes, so three 500Zs just get drop shipped to the customer. So air variable capacitors looked okay. 
I took the band switch out, replaced the damaged wafer, fixed up the coil spacing, placed the straps on the parasitic suppressor board, got rid of the cap diode revision back here, put in new gas discharge tubes under the sockets, like I showed you in the previous, uh, one of the previous videos, compress the socket clips. New SO239s from Max Gain Systems, just awesome people over there. Tighten up on all the hardware, tighten up on the nuts for the air variable capacitors, tighten up on the nuts for the connections to the air variable capacitors. Replace the, the meter LED pack, the other one was fine so I left that alone. Replace the one that Someone had swapped out and damaged. Someone had their hands in this at some point, so I had to correct some other things. It's mostly solder joints. Replaced the transistor for the bias circuit. It was shorted. And uh, that's about it. Also cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxic gold. And the band switch with deoxic gold. TR slash bias relay with deoxic gold. And I always tighten these nuts up with a wrench. So they're nice and tight. A lot of times they're very loose. Okay, so, yeah, someone had a, was that a, uh, one of the series glitch resistors blow open because the board's all damaged right there, so. My dehumidifier is full, you hear the beeping? So, I keep the humidity level to 50% in the other room where I store all the carbon comp resistors and heart block kits and all that stuff and my Rockwell stuff. Not good for uh, humidity, it's not good for that stuff. Okay, so that's about it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Websites are amprepairguy.com, also harbachelectronics.com. Another amp will be going on the bench tomorrow. Not sure which one, but eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, thank you for watching, and have a great day. 73.